From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good morning. We have finally made it to the weekend. First weekend of December, in fact, and conditions out there, well, they kind of reflect that right here in the valley where temperatures staying in the lower 50s today as expected, right? We have that kind of cooler pattern as of right now, more moist pattern as well. Out there is this good Modoc County keeping those clouds and showers through today. Highs in the lower 40s heading out towards the East Mountains. Very similar situation there as well. Taking a look at what we can expect for the coast and you start to creep back up into the upper 50s near 60 through this afternoon. Head a little further inland though, you cool back down in the lower 50s there. Same for out there in Trinity County near 50 with those scattered showers, especially through this afternoon and evening as the rain starts to pick up there, especially. Let me show you on the future cast exactly what I'm talking about. Current rain totals across the area so far have really been kind of focused up north. We're talking up in Del Norte County and Humboldt County, as well as portions of Siskiyou County, right? That's kind of the typical climatological peak of where the rain usually maximizes. But as we head through this afternoon and evening, it looks like we pick up that next disturbance that pushes east. But I think the snow levels are actually on the rise. We have a little bit more uh, warm air kind of mixed into the batch. And I say warm air relatively. Uh, the warm air really kind of is an impact of the snow levels, right? That's what's kind of making it rise above that 4,000, 5,000 foot mark and so on and so forth, right? So it's really more of a rain across the area for large parts of North State. That's going to persist throughout the area. Still seeing some snow showers in the higher elevations, though, out there towards uh, the Modoc County region, out there towards the East Mountains. And as we head through tomorrow, especially up here in the north portions of Del Norte County, now through Humboldt County and the coast, and even Siskiyou County along the I-5 corridor, we're still holding those showers. So definitely an unsettled weekend here over the next day or two. And I think we hold that probably into the beginning of the work week as well, to be honest with you, at least for our Monday. I think the pattern is going to kind of be repetitive in that aspect as that system continues to push east here. But I think we get a little bit of this uh, final relief past Tuesday and into midweek, right? I think as we head towards Wednesday, as we head towards Thursday, looks like we dry out just a little bit, but we might pick up more precipitation chances as we head towards the end of the week and into next weekend, right? So we're really kind of getting those uh, active patterns into the area, right? We're sort of getting this El Nino-like pattern finally taking back over the North State here. And you can see the snow totals uh, really not that high as we head at least over the next 24 hours or so. You notice they're really limited to the highest elevations here. That's what I was talking about when I said those snow levels are really increasing in elevation. We're not really seeing that being a huge issue, more so that cold, dreary, kind of sleepy weather type of day. Taking a look across the area for your highs, there are those strip of upper 50s along the coast there. You see out towards Siskiyou and Modoc County, we're talking clouds and showers throughout the day, maybe even a rumble of thunder mixed into the batch, especially up here where the storms might be a little more robust with those widespread upper 40s. And through the valley, you're holding those mid 50s across the area, really not seeing any signs of 60s, at least for today, to be quite honest with you. So we're staying definitely fairly suppressed in terms of those temperatures there. But Big picture, let's take a look at the seven day, see what we have in store. Here's what I was talking about with that little warm batch of air in the upper levels. Notice the snow levels here up in Mount Shasta, Siskiyou County. We're talking five, 6,000 feet, especially through the midweek, maybe decreasing back down to about 3,500 to 4,000 feet towards the end of the week. But hey, there's the beginning of the week there that I was talking about where we have at least a little bit of a break in terms of the precipitation there as a whole. And to be honest with you, I think we get back to this more active pattern in the extended term as well. So seven day outlook here in the valley, same situation here. Looks like over the next couple days, maybe a little bit of a break, but then we get back to those chances towards the end of the week. And hey, check those temperatures out. We're actually getting a little more mild with those 60s starting to creep back into the valley as we head towards Monday, Tuesday, maybe even some mid 60s mixed in the batch, but the next couple days kind of showery temperatures in the 50s there, just kind of gloomy. Best way to put it, like I said at the beginning, sleepy weather, right? You really just don't want to wake up on days like this. Really nice weather to sleep in, read a book, cozy up with some coffee, situation like that, right? On the coast, showers, we're probably going to get the maximum rain totals along the coast. We're talking Humboldt and Del Norte County. Temperatures, once again, getting up near into the lower 60s. You can kind of see the effects of that warmer air creeping in as we head towards the midweek there, as you head out towards portions of Trinity County as well. Talking about Weaverville as well. There are those snow levels increasing towards the end of the week. That warm air is going to do us some favors across the area. So definitely kind of an unsettled pattern across the area, but hey, it's December, it's El Nino, and we're on the West Coast. So what do you expect, right? Stay safe, stay warm out there. Have a good one, folks.